Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I'm Char and <laughs> as you can see, I've been a little on the naughty side. I did say that because I got the Bible that I wanted for my birthday, that that's it for me, that I wasn't buying anything else in which I didn't buy that one. It was a birthday gift, but I said, you know what? I'm content. I'm happy. I got way more than enough to work with. And then this happened. <laughs> I was in Ollie's minding my business. I always make it my business to go check in the Bible section just to see what's new, what's hot, what's happening. You know, it's an interest of mine. So I go over there and look. And then behold this. This is a journal Bible and I don't know if you can, let me hold up so you can see. Do you see that price? This is a whole pretty journal Bible for seven bucks. Absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. And they had plenty. Now, I don't know if it's, oh, and I need you to look at the retail price. Like this is a $35 Bible and they have it for seven. How awesome is that? If you're new to Bible journaling and you're on a budget and you just want to test the waters to see, because a lot of people just say go for it, right? They just say go for the the most popular new one, which y'all know at this point in time, the one that everybody's going crazy over is this one. This is Inspired Prayer Bible and it comes in hard, soft cover. So me personally, if I was advising someone, I wouldn't say, hey, go buy a $50 Bible just because you need to make sure this is actually what you want and test the waters to see what your styles and techniques are, I would say this would be a great start. Start here. $7, you cannot go wrong. That's the price of a good journal, uh, a good planner. I, start here, please. <laughs> but this is the Praise Journal Bible. It's not by Inspire. It is actually by, it looks like the publisher is Good Books. It is King James. It says, Praise a Creative Journaling Bible. Marshall. It is obviously, well, I can't compare it to this one because y'all know this one has a three inch margin on the side, whereas the standard one has only two. So I'm going to do a little comparison for you guys with a regular Bible. This is my, my creative Bible for girls. I'm just going to place this right on top. And as you can see, they are exactly the same size. One's just hard and the other's just soft. Um, and of course, this one's going to seem a tad bit taller because it is hardcover and it has the top. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference to you guys, but that is it has gold on the side as you can see it has one ribbon but they are the same size standard size journal bible so you have that then you have i'm excuse me i'm sorry let's start right here it says the complete bible with 300 illustrations to color so you have illustrations um back here it says complete sing single you can see that complete single column KJV text for easy reading, 300 hand-drawn illustrations for inspired verses to color, roomy line margins for your reflection and response to scripture, keepsake quality design to be passed down from generations. And I can tell you I'm touching this and I'm feeling this and this definitely is good quality. You would not even imagine on your most wildest day that this would be a $7 Bible at all. This is very good. I mentioned when I did the review of the, uh, what is it? The modern English promise Bible that was in Ollie's that everyone went to grab. That was for seven bucks as well. I mentioned that that one was a little simplistic to me. Now I don't see why it would be $7, but I could get why it could be as cheap as like 15, 20 in my personal opinion, because it seemed like a regular book. It just so happened to be a journal Bible. Whereas like these hard covers here, they're a little different. And I don't know how much more to explain that, but if you actually pick one up now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people love it. My daughter loves it. I do think it's going to last as long as she wants it to. But like I said, this one just has a different feel and texture and seems a little more sophisticated in my personal opinion. 
But anyway, you have art. You have art as soon as you open. You have the beginning here. You have the copyright page. Looks like this came out in 2016, so it's not even really like an old, old Bible. But you know how publishing works. They got to get rid of stuff, so that's what Ollie's coming to play. So Ollie's will be a good place to go look and start to see, you know, what's out there and get something for a good, decent price. Because at this rate, this Bible is like not even a third of what it originally cost. So that's awesome. More artwork here. I'm sorry, you have table contents. The books of the Bible in order. The Old Testament or the Holy Bible containing the Old and New Testament. Then you have a drawing here. And as you can see, it's like elegant flowers. Like it's just different. Like this is a little more sophisticated, but it still gives you something to color. Now, two things that I love about this one and the Beautiful Word Bible is it almost like they're conscious of space for tabs. And you don't get that with the other Bibles that have illustration. It's just like they just put the painting and the pictures all over. And it's like where if I do tabs before I actually finish the Bible, where would they go? So this Bible seems to be tab friendly, it has space on the side for you to place them that won't interfere with your lines or your artwork. And as you can see, this is the lines. Has pretty decent amount of space that I would say. And again, like you see the artwork over here is not quite all the way over. So if I were to tab anywhere along here, it would not ruin my artwork. That is a bonus for me because I take pleasure in tabbing all my Bibles. I am familiar with where the books are, but for speed and convenience, I like to have tabs. Let me see if I can have some artwork to show you guys. And as you can see, the artwork is like room for investment. Like it gives you this, which is a verse, but you can go here, here, you can write here, right here. I love that because oftentimes with the other Bibles, the artwork tends to take up the whole space. And it's like, what if I want to do something? What if I want to add something? What if I actually want to write in regards to any of the, excuse me, of the scriptures that are actually here? And I thank God this is a pretty good Bible for that space and opportunity like yes you gave me something to work with and matter of fact this is probably the only one that i've seen that actually came all the way over if you can see that maybe there's more i don't know i um went through it a little bit um before because i thought i had i did a video and it got deleted somehow but um that's nice and simple this one does come all the way over so i don't know maybe i spoke too soon no this one doesn't either. Like, I guess it's hit and miss. Like, some are over, some are not. But again, I, I think what matters is, like, this is not the a tabbing page. You always tab the first page or the page right behind it. So, I think in that aspect, it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Now, again, this artwork is pretty elegant yet simple. So, I say this is super duper uh, beginner friendly, in my opinion. Plenty of pages to write on. You got space here, here. Of course, it varies based on the page, but for me, if there is a, a wheel, there's a way. This one here, what it says, he also shall be my salvation, Job 13, 16 scripture. Like I said, just got no space up there where I can actually tab without ruining it if I had to, but this is not the beginning of the book. Let's see what's the beginning of job oh esther that's pretty and see just enough space to get a tab in there and not ruin the actual art i'm loving it i don't know about you guys but um that's the beginning of job again just enough space or opportunity to put a tab without completely ruining this vision i love that part this is the ribbon it's like a rose gold pinkish color I actually got, I picked, well, ironically, the same day I was in Walmart and these were on clearance for a dollar and they're metallic. And this is obviously gold metallic and you have a hint of like the grays and the colors in here. And I said, that would be perfect in my opinion. Not quite sure yet, but at least to begin, because if you don't know, the good thing about using these is they can come in and out like sticky notes. 
but they just have enough stick that they're going to continue to stick. So this is it's like a no-brainer to me. I plan on putting these in here in the time being. And of course, if I change my mind, if I actually want to get tabs, I can also do that as well. And the end is clear. So when you peel them off, you can actually do the artwork under it and put it back on without, you know, you know, something not so permanent. But if you want to be permanent, it's still going to be permanent. If you get what I'm saying? So these were a dollar and they come 30 cents in a pack and you only need two for 66 books of the Bible. And this Bible was $7. <laughs> that was a great deal. So Jeremiah, let's very quickly show you some more artwork in here. So in case you're trying to decide, I say me personally, as um, picky as I am, trust me on this, you would not regret getting this Bible. Again, this is an Ollie's. Um, I seen it online. I seen it in Barnes and Nobles, but I believe it was like $25, $30. But Ollie's is where you go. They have them for um, less. That's pretty. That's an artwork in Jeremiah. Artwork. Plenty of lines. Some more artwork. Very, very cute and sophisticated. Like, I'm in love with the flowers. And this will be a great garden Bible. I need to mention that because the theme seems to be majority flowers. Perfect for gardening because they have already set the foundation for you. I am so amazed right now. I just thought about that. I didn't think about that the first time I went through it. Now, here's one that's not quite flower thing, but I mean, you can work with it. It's not the end of the world. Look at that. More flowers. Majority flowers is what I see. And that's perfect for a garden Bible. So this might very well just be my blooming Bible. Because I started um, gardening in a non-journaling Bible, but this one might be it. You guys, comment below. Tell me what you think. Like, it's, it's almost like it's like here. Let me be a garden for you. <laughs> comment below if you ever seen this Bible. If you were interested in the Bible, you were inquiring about this Bible. I tried to search YouTube. I didn't see any videos. I think I saw one. And it was a long time ago. Um, but hopefully this video will be of some help to you. If you go on all these, you see it and you're trying to find, you know, if this is for you, it's not, like I said, for $7 in my personal opinion, you cannot go wrong. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment down below, give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.